Hello friends, in our last videos, uh, we had discussed uh, access properties, uh, um, uh, activity models for the liquid solutions and we had solved number of numerical questions uh, from KV Naran and, and from university point of view and uh, we had also solved some numerical problems from the previous year gate uh, papers. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to talk about the residual properties. In uh, chemical process industry, it is very difficult uh, to handle and study the property change of mixing in case of non-ideal gases. Uh, so we need to find out the way to handle these property changes in case of non-ideal cases. So here we are introducing uh, what are known as residual properties. Uh, this is also known as departure properties. This is also kuch books mein aap dekhoge ki wahan par departure properties mention kiya hua in place of residual properties. Like in Smith ki book mein aap dekhoge to wahan par departure properties mention kiya hua hai. So, uh, uh, what is residual properties and uh, departure functions or you can say this, these are the departure functions. So, either one essentially means uh, the difference between uh, what it is non-ideal scenario and what it is in ideal scenario at the same temperature and pressure. So residual property usually this is M is for any uh, thermodynamic property. R subscript uh, defines the residual property is M is uh, at here you can write just a minute. You can write temperature and pressure at same temperature and pressure. So you need to mention there. is equals to any thermodynamic property at real solution or non-ideal real solution at same temperature and pressure minus thermodynamic property for ideal gases at same temperature and pressure right so before discussing uh, residual properties uh, i need to address a one very important question I uh, use use a word ki that gives free energy we are using as a generating function. So why we would use gives free energy as a generating function for every thermodynamic uh, properties. So if we have any homogeneous solution, uh, then we can write gives free energy from fundamental thermodynamic properties dg is equals to vdp minus sdt. And uh, change in pressure and change in temperature, uh, we can calculate these two properties directly from any chemical process. Uh, process. That's why uh, we consider, you know, uh, if uh, th this is available, you can directly uh, take these values, change in pressure and change in temperature from any chemical process. So that's why we consider gives uh, free energy uh, as a generating uh, 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 generating property for every uh, thermodynamic property and now uh, if you differentiate this d g by g over r t is equals to d g over r t minus uh, g by r t square d t fine in place of uh, g you can put uh, dg in place of dg you can put in place of this you can put vdp minus sdp sdt so just substitute vdp minus sdt divided by rt minus here it is uh, g upon rt dt by t so uh, d over dg over rt is equals to v upon rt T dp minus g plus ts right rt square and here it is dt fine 
now you can write uh, d g over r t is equals to v upon r t d p and what is this g plus h t s is this is uh, enthalpy so h upon r t square d p fine now at constant at now at constant constant temperature so d r t daba p at constant temperature that will be give you constant temperature right so, uh, wait a minute just a minute this is it's not a p it's a t so here it is it's t so uh, at constant temperature this term will be zero v r t dp similarly at constant similarly at constant at constant pressure g by r t upon tapa t where pressure is constant so this term will be zero change in pressure will be zero minus negative enthalpy upon rt square dt right so once i have uh, once we have volume and enthalpy i can calculate entropy and uh, you can write s upon r is equals to h upon r minus g uh, what is this this is g h minus g upon t so multiplied by r so you can write also s upon r is equals to h upon rt minus g upon rt right similarly you can uh, write for internal energy so u upon r is equals to h upon rt uh, minus pv upon rt so once once we know g upon rt as a function of temperature pressure then we can calculate almost all the thermodynamic uh, uh, thermo, all the thermodynamic properties in fact you can also derive the relationship uh, for helmholtz free energy as well as for uh, volume enthalpy internal energy and entropy so in this sense we can uh, use gives free energy as a generating function for all the thermodynamic property now introduce the residual property while keeping this is uh, in our mind we know that 